Today we do the Tom Tara Deep Croft Duty. Stay tuned, everybody. Welcome, friends, to a new episode of Final Fantasy Online. I'm Clobber Stomp. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm having a fantastic day, and I got one our little Moogle behind us. Oh, he's so cute. All right, let's get started. We're going to dive into, um, apparently, this is some sort of red uh, quest. I don't really know what this is all about, but we're going to dive in. Oh, this quest is not available. Oh, until 25. Okay, so... The hidden chapter, that means we need to get some level ups in. So I guess we're going to walk away from doing that for now. And then we're going to go do the fire and doom and gloom. So I guess let's go ahead over there. And actually, I can't even get there. Oh, I don't have enough. Um, okay, so we need to get ourselves to Gridania. And I need to walk down to fire and gloom. Okay. Uh, well... All right, well, that's going to be fun, so I will see you guys there in a little All bit. All right, we have reached our location to do some smashing of the face. Okay, uh, let's get started. Uh, so, yeah, um, I'm out of gill, <laughs> so that's fun. Uh, so we'll have to solve that wonderful problem somehow. I'm not quite sure... Uh, my understanding is, I guess, Gil comes fairly easy once you kind of get into the game, but um, I hope so, because it would be nice to have some Gil to be able to do things with. Uh, but we'll see how it goes. All right, peace out, Firefly. You're done. There we go. Okay, so let's talk to the God's Quiver Bow. We are going to start the Fire and Gloom deal. You're Nalia Hortamont, I take it. Thanks for helping us out, friend. No doubt the Bow Lord has already informed you, but your task is to enter the Deep Croft and purge it of the lambs of the Dalamud. In case you're unfamiliar with them, the cult emerged shortly before the Calamity put an end to the Sixth Astral Era. The, cult, the cultists who uh, the cultists took the lesser moon, Dalamud, for their god, believing that it would deliver them from the devastation. And so they were rather disappointed when Dalamud exploded into a thousand flaming pieces before it could complete its descent. Now having seen their god turn to ash, one would think that the cultists might feel moved to question their faith. On the contrary, it served only to stoke their flames of fantasism. The lambs of Dalamud are convinced that heretics, that is to say everyone but them, interfered with the coming of their Lord and Savior, and that's that it's now their sacred duty to avenge him. Whatever it is they're doing in the deep croft, you may be... Be sure that no good will come of it for the sake of Gridania and Eorzea at large. Put an end to their madness. Okay. The Tamtara Deep Croft. All right. So, very good. Uh, okay. This is obviously an entrance. Uh, we want to do this one. And we're going to join. So, this is a... Uh, duty, so we need to wait for people to come along. So I will bring you guys back when we have a full party and we'll get started. So what I've noticed is there's actually a forming party thing here. And it shows who's needed. So we need a healer, a tank, and another DPS. It also shows the elapsed time that you've been waiting. And then also the average wait time. So it looks like we're going to have to wait at least 15 minutes, if not more. Sorry for that noise. Um, I clicked on something and it fell down. But um, it seems as though it's going to take a little bit of time for these. Now, what I know of the duties, and I think I saw this in another video someone um, had posted. I was watching some beginner videos, and forgive me, I do not know whose it was. But I believe they mentioned something to the effect of 
people have the ability to join duties uh, from any uh, location. So in the duty finder, um, it, you can, you know, uh, Sastasha was that first one we did, and then this one, and some players will get informed if uh, there is a need for these. So some people might join in faster. So hopefully we won't have to wait this 15 minutes, but it is obviously something that we have to do. So, um, and it looks like it gives you all the information about this wonderful, uh, the Tom Tara Deep Croft. Uh, so this is the what we're gonna be working on today. Since the establishment during the Gelmoran times, this subterranean crypt has been used for generations as a final resting place for the remains of rulers and nobles. Since the calamity, however, the tunnels have become overrun with the lamps of Dalamud, which is what that dude uh, behind this was showing, um, Mr. God's Quiverbow. Um, a deadly cult who wo worships the now fallen satellite as their savior. It is the in the deep crop that these twisted souls silently plot revenge against those who fought to prevent the advent of Dalaman, summoning any dark presence who will aid them to their end, no matter what the cost. It looks like you have time limit of 90 minutes and the location is the Tamtara Deep Croft. So this is gonna be pretty cool. It looks like this jumped down to 10 minutes. So hopefully we won't have to wait that long. Uh, when I am in the party and we get started, I will come back and you guys will see this shortly. Okay. We are good. The Tamtara Deep Croft. <clears throat> Beautiful. This is awesome. All right, we're now in a duty. We're going to go hang out with these people. This is going to be fun. Uh, party. All right, let's see what's going on. This should be fun. I love these. These are a, these are a good time. Apparently we have 90 minutes to do this, so. I'm gonna switch those because I'm not gonna engage really closely. We're just gonna let the tank do the tanking and uh, we're gonna help support him as best we can. All right. Everybody seems to do a lot more damage than me. I'm supposed to be DPS. Maybe it's just because I'm so... Like, new? I'm not sure.
All right. Easy work. Come on, Zell. We gotta go this way, man. So that's good. out, homie. The Void Soul Counter. I haven't really gotten a hold of the whole transpose and then use my other skills and that sort of thing. I, I feel like I'm getting the hang of it, but it, I still feel super slow. Maybe that's just part of being, you know, in the beginning part of the game. like I got something. Cool. I said greed. Um, not sure if I should have picked that. Um, I don't think I actually needed it, so... I know I'm not speaking a lot, but I'm trying to concentrate, so um, hopefully you just enjoy the gameplay and make critiques on whether or not I'm playing correctly or garbage. Uh, I think I'm starting to get the hang of it. Obviously this takes practice, and I haven't done enough duties to really feel like I'm proficient in combat yet. I think that probably just comes with time, right? Like, the longer and more that you play, uh, the easier it becomes as a black mage. Like, see, I'm casting, but then this stuff's gone, and uh, maybe it's just poor timing. I'm not quite sure. Maybe I just need to be paying better attention. Perhaps that's the case. We're trying. We're figuring it out. I'm happy I'm making Gil. <laughs> I mean, that is the main thing, right? Sure. Why not? Looks like it was better than my stuff. It was magical based. We'll put magic stuff as the need pile. Everything else can go to the greed. I think that's how you should do. Uh, everything else or whatever else can go to like pass. I feel like half the time I'm trying to recharge 
you know, my magic points, or mana points, whichever you want to call them. Um, is, I have a two and a half second casting speed and like everything's dead before I even get a chance, right? Like, uh, we'll pass. Don't need those. Tank it up, Grave Digger. As long as I keep him like giving thunder against him, I feel like that's probably worth worthwhile cause. There we go. I leveled up. Excellent. Oh, that looks like a nice thing. Um, don't know what that is. And then uh, disciples of magic. We'll say need, need, and need. This crypt is really cool. I love the the artwork in it. It's really sweet. It's quite ominous. I don't even get a chance to like hit every target. <laughs> I'm trying, but uh
They're fast. I feel like they've done this before. See, I'm like in the middle of trying to cast my... You know... Uh, fire 2 and then like it's dead before I even get a chance to like fire it off. It's kind of a bummer. I think we'll just have to get used to it for now. Um, I understand that it gets a lot better later, but... Pretty sure that now drops the force field from what we just passed. Yep, looks like it. Oh, maybe not. Looks like they have to do it. All right, what are you fighting? All right, I guess we'll just do this thing that's really closest to us. The Wormwood Altar is sealed off. That big glowing old thing. Who summons me from the void to residue? Oh, this is Delamud. Nice. Uh, sure. Why not? All right. Oh, there we go. Galvanth the D Dominator. Look at that. 
Sweet. Limit breaks are awesome. Oh, but I can't do anything else instead. Huh? <laughs> uh. Awesome. We've killed the Eternal Calm. A plundered rope belt. Nice. A pair of plundered knives. How do I... Um, I want to... How do I... I want to give these guys recommendations. Are they not... Oh, they were maybe not here. Oh, no. Aw, oh, man. Well. All right. Well, we've done it. Um, so we have to report to Mornay, um, I guess, at... Let's return. No. We're going to run away from these guys, and we're going to run back to Gridania. Okay, we have reached New Gridania, and we need to go back in and talk to Mione and turn this in. All right, let's see what he has to say. Mother Mione. Oh, her. Sorry, her. Welcome back, Nalia. I'm reliably informed that your foray into the deep croft was a success. Yes, it was. Nor did I, nor did I expect anything less. Baderon's ringing endorsement left me in little doubt as to your capabilities. Even so, you are to be commended. Bolord Lewin asked me to pass on his thanks. I must say it's something of a relief to be able to call upon such a capable adventurer. Sadly, death has become an even more common occurrence within our fraternity of late. Times being what they are, uh, the guild is constantly inundated with petitions. We are hard-pressed to find enough hands to deal with them all. While this means no shortage of work for able souls such as yourself, it also provides ample opportunity for the inexperienced to overreach themselves with predictable consequences. Ah, as if to illustrate the point. Oh. Leovane. Ever is gone, and it's all your fault. If it hadn't taken to your age to heal him, uh, he'd still be alive. But, but I tried. He bolted out of range before I could finish the spell. Shouldn't have been so hard pressed in the first place. We uh, should have done more to lighten his burden. Bah, to the hells with your pathetic excuse for a party. I'm leaving. It'd be too so soon if I never see your faces again. Goodbye and good riddance. Payo Rayo. That little Lalafell is pissed. I'm leaving as well. I doubt this comes to. Uh, I I doubt this comes as any surprise, but I never liked you. Jeez, I've only suffered it, uh, suffered you for your healing, but uh, you couldn't even do that one thing right. Cruel though it may sound, uh, you've brought this upon yourself. Oh, by the way, some parting advice. Get rid of the Aver's head. Uh, bury it, cremate it, do whatever the hells you like with it, but for God's sake, stop carrying it around. It's just, just get rid of it all, all right? Don't leave me alone, please. I'm sorry, Aver. Please forgive me. Yeah, you let somebody die. Maybe 
Seeds like this have become all too common. This makes a dozen times in half as many days. Now you see why I'm grateful for adventurers of your experience. I can send a woman like you in a mission without worrying that you might not return. Well, not so much at any rate. Uh, speaking of missions, I would entrust you with another. Um, about a bell ago. What's that mean? About a bell ago. I wonder if that was like a week ago? Is that what that means? Hmm. I, I received a message from my counterpart in Ulda. She seeks the services of a reliable adventurer, and you are nothing if not reliable. If you think you might be interested in this task, say the word, and I will be glad to share the details with you. Absolutely. Complete. Fire in the gloom. The quest is complete. All right. We've done it. All right, Freds. Well, we've... Oh, let's see what we got in our... Our goods. Inventory. Uh, no, we don't need inventory. We need our armory chest. Um, what did we get? Alright, well, you know what? Let's just do it this way. Let's do this and then see if anything changes. Equip. Yes. Oh, we have a hat. A plundered Cavalier's hat. Oh, we are fancy AF. Look at us. I need to die this sucker. And... Do, 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 do. Blue. You do not possess this die. I thought I did. Maybe I don't have any on me. Maybe they're in my bank or something. I'm not quite sure. But look at that. We have a um, a special item. Nice. Well, we've gotten some stuff today. All right, friends. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please look at that hat. It is sweet. That's amazing. We made two levels as well. All right, friends. Thanks for watching, everybody. Take care, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Be well.